Oh, I see the chat room starting to uh, to get going. Something tells me that uh, we are live here on World's Greatest. Uh, what were you thinking? Thanks so much for joining. Uh, my name is Mike Furman. Uh, I will be here for the next 15 days. So this is a 17-day uh, series that we're doing surrounding the winter games happening in Beijing and athletes winter summer are joining me some coaches as well throughout the rest of the run uh, and we are waiting on a couple of, uh, of of our guests to join us tonight uh, so real quick world's greatest uh, we are a content platform that focuses on creating content with Olympians uh, be it winter be it summer so a lot of ski jumpers and nordic combined athletes are on the show we have a lot of track and field athletes who are also going to be on the show and tonight we have brandon miller joining us the uh texas a and m 800 meter phenom i'm actually really excited to speak with him because he is one of the most up and coming athletes in track and field right now uh you can chat with us uh i i see dj i see you in the chat right now welcome welcome uh, i'm going to be reading it if you have any questions for any of our athletes throughout the course of this evening or the entire series by all means throw it in the chat room the chat room is happening live right now on fanfest you can visit us watch.fanfest.io slash world's greatest of course world's greatest without the vowels in it uh, and you can join the chat room there hey from st louis angela Hey, from Connecticut, uh, from me to you. And, uh, you know, by all means, if you're watching on Twitter, if you're watching on Facebook, if you're watching on YouTube, come over here to FanFest, join in. It's a lot of fun. And we want to know what questions you have. The show is called What Were You Thinking? Because we like to ask athletes, what were they thinking at certain moments in their career, at their lives, maybe pivotal life moments, or maybe they're in fourth place with a chance to make the podium at the Olympics. There's, there's so many different moments that we want to get into their, uh, their, their heads. So joining us, uh, I already talked about Brandon. We are also going to have Eric Belshaw, 17 year old USA Nordic ski team. Uh, he's going to be joining us as well. Uh, and I see, I see Brandon M in the chat room and I see Brandon joining us right here on the show. What's going on. Oh, man, he's gone. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he'll he'll be he'll be back. I'm 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 really excited to talk. He looked like he was very excited to be on the stream. So let's see if we can get him uh, back in here uh, again. World's greatest. Follow us. Subscribe on uh, YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter. At world's greatest team is where you can find us. No, where'd he go, DJ? I I don't know. I, I see him saying hi again. Let's let's see if we can if we can get him in here. Hold on. All right there. There we go. Are you are you are you with it? No, <laughs> technical difficulties. All right, we'll get there. We'll get there. This uh, we we have a whole hour to figure this thing out. <laughs> no, not again. I love it. I love it. So you know, during the show, a lot of what we do here on World's Greatest, we we have two two goals really: to laugh and to learn. We love to have a good time. Love to have a real conversation. I am by no means an elite athlete. I mean, I, uh, for the past four days, have gotten destroyed uh, at racquetball by someone, uh, I don't, not twice my age, but he's significantly older. I'm no athlete, but I'm an Olympic super fan. That's what I'm doing here. I DVR these things. My wife hates it. We've talked about it on the show. She hates it. I'm going to watch every single curling match. Uh, mixed doubles is happening right now. I'm going to watch them all later. DVR. It's going to take me like three months to watch the entire Olympics. It's awesome. I do it for summer and winter. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm also one of the partners behind creating content at World's Greatest. So uh, in, in case you're wondering, like, who is this guy? Why, why is he here? That, that's what we're here for. Uh, we're going to learn about these athletes. We're going to learn about their sports. I have never tried ski jumping, and I have so many questions to ask about that uh I, I i don't think i could survive in 800 i can't wait to talk to brandon about how he is one of the best uh, in the country doing it right now we got to get him back in here <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 looking i'm i'm looking for him he's not here yet he'll he'll get here eventually um if you guys have anything uh, that you've loved watching on the Olympics thus far, uh, any great moments or any sports, if you're getting into curling, having never seen it before, throw it in the chat. We want to talk to you. Come on, third time's the charm. Brandon, what's up? Talk to me. Uh, 
There we go. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> we got it. We got it. What's going on, man? How are you doing? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Okay. There you go. All right. Hey, you, you know what? You know what? It's it, it's it's okay. I give you a pass uh, because you're so damn good at the 800, and that's uh, uh, you, you're not you're not here to program computers. Uh, are we good? We good? Headphones are off. Can you not hear me? And now I can't hear him. What's happening? <laughs> this, 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 something's happening. I did hear you. I heard you before. You can't hear. Yeah, I heard you. <laughs> Bro, what's going on? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe you're muted. Are you muted on the bottom? Right down here? Muted? Maybe? I don't know. We're, we're, Bob, get on the phone with this guy. Get on the phone with this guy. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Goes again. What is happening tonight? All right. So as you can see, we have we have the Olympics on here uh, again. I'm always watching it. We have uh, some. Uh, it looks like some women's slalom happening right behind me right now. I don't know if if, if Brandon's just he he just wants to go watch the women's slalom is is what's happening. <laughs> Let's see. I see. I see how he's he's uh, he's on the phone. So you know. To laugh and to learn, I guess, I guess that's what we're doing here. We're we're laughing right now. We'll get the show on the road as soon as we possibly can. And I like that shirt. I want to talk about that shirt too. Oh, oh, wait, you hear? But I don't hear you now. Unmute yourself, though. Come on, unmute yourself. Do it. Do it. I heard him say thanks, Bob. That's our producer. Just hit the hit the mute button. Unmute it. No, I don't hear you. Are you muted? We 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 got to fix this. Come on. Anybody, anybody. I swear the rest of the show hasn't gone this way. <laughs> I swear we've done this before. I mean, I can I can read lips uh, if if that's what it takes, man. If that's what it takes. See, he just laughed. He laughed. I can read lips, see? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So We'll figure it out. The mute button's on the bottom. You see the mute button on the bottom there? Oh, my goodness. All right. We're going to get – this is going to be the best conversation ever. It's it's going to be so worthwhile, I'm telling you. <laughs> How about now? Yes! Yeah, there we go. There we go! There we go. Yes, okay. There hey, look, you know what? I, I'm going to – I'm I'm – I'm going to give you those eight minutes back of your life. We'll keep the show going a little bit long. All right. How's that sound? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Here we are. Awesome. Here we are. All right. So uh, <laughs> in the chat, thank the Lord. <laughs> you're, not, you're not kidding. So, all right. Um, Brandon, you're joining us. Uh, uh, are you in Texas right now? Yes, sir. I am. College awesome. Station. So, all right. I want – this is how we kind of have been starting out in case our viewers don't know – who you are they will very shortly even if not watching this because you're going to take the 800 world by storm everything that i'm saying uh but why don't we start tell us who are you what do you do what are you all about well my name is brandon miller uh i run track for texas a&m university and as uh, as you said i run the 800 you know uh i feel like i'm up and coming man and i'm excited to see how this how the rest of the season goes so yeah, yeah, right on. Uh, all time, uh, I, I believe you have the record in the indoor six at A and M, right? Yeah, so I have the uh, world U twenty record uh, for the six hundred, and then um, I right. have a couple of um, all time marks in the eight hundred from U twenty as well. So that's awesome. So, all right, bring us up to speed. What's been happening uh, thus far this year? Obviously, indoor season. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and, and it's crazy because uh, they say as you get older, time goes by faster, you know, and I feel like I just turned 20, you know, finally out of the teens, and... Uh... Look, I just turned 20, and I got two kids at home. Like, <laughs> you're, not, you're not kidding, man. I, I'm I not quite you. there yet. I'm not quite there yet. But, uh, uh, yeah, so right now we have a couple more uh, meets of indoor left. 
I've ran the 800 just one time this year. Uh, ran the 600 twice. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I put down um, some pretty decent marks. I'm just really excited for SECs, uh, up, you know, coming up here in about two weeks. Right. And uh, just for it to be home at Texas A&M in front of our home crowd is going to be very special. So. Yeah, that's that's absolutely huge. And that uh, 115.94 at the Texas Tech Open, that's 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 pretty quick. Not going to lie. Uh, you are on the Bowerman <laughs> season watch list. How what what's that like? Is there any pressure with that? Do you do you, do you follow any of that kind of stuff? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, but for me, at least, I, I don't really view it as pressure. I view it as more like an honor. Um mm-hmm. You know, just to be recognized as one of the best in collegiate track and field uh, right now, it's just an honor to me. And, you know, um, I I feel like I hold myself to a higher standard than anybody else. So, like, um, I'm expecting the best out of myself every time I hit the track. So I want to view it more, uh, not not so much as pressure, but more as an honor. Rather. Okay. But you 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 kind of feed off that, don't you? I can t- I can tell. Yes, just the way that yes, you put it, like you kind of feed off that, like oh yeah, they're they're looking at me. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it. Yes, sir, for so, sure. Like for sure, for sure. Yeah. You know, I, I love competition. I love competition. Love that. So 600 and 800. What do you like better? You like the six or you like the eight? Definitely. Eight. You yeah. Know, I, I, it was it was funny because. You know, the same, you don't pick the 800, the 800 picks you. Pick two, I feel, yeah, I feel yeah. like that's definitely true, you know. Because uh, when you look at all of the events in track and field, I kind of, you know, I remember sometimes thinking like, man, why why did I pick the 100, you know. Uh, just to be able to, you know, maybe celebrate after the race a little bit or anything like that, you know. Kind of after the 800, you're a little tired. But uh, I love the 800. And, uh, yeah, as again, I'm very excited to see what I can do in the 800 this year and beyond. Yeah, that's, it's, I mean, the, the 800 I've just as a spectator, it's painful. Like it, it doesn't, it seems like, and it's becoming more of a sprint every single year. It becomes yeah. more of a sprint. Is like, is, is that, is that an appropriate assessment? Would you say? Yeah, it's very appropriate. It, 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 it definitely seems like as the years go by you know you start coming through the first lap a little quicker and quicker and quicker so it starts turning into more of a sprint and 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 how did the 800 choose you like did you work your way up to it and then be like okay this is this is where i'm gonna i'm gonna chill here i'm not gonna go any farther (laughs) i'm not gonna you know run any less like how, how did that actually like happen um my mom uh so my mom was my coach all the way through you know high school and it, it was a moment where we was just trying out events and I got put in the 800 and uh, I was just pretty good at it. Uh, so I just kind of stuck with it ever since. All right. Awesome. And uh, Eric Belshaw just joined us. I see him there on the screen. What's going on, Eric? How are you? I'm oh. uh, good. How are you? Oh, good, good. I was, I was hoping you weren't going to be muted for a second. I was like, we've already gone <laughs> through this whole technical difficulty thing. Um, so uh, uh, Eric, uh, see we were talking about being old but you add up both of your ages and i'm i'm that's me <laughs> Sam. Sam. <laughs> uh so where are you where are you coming from are you at competition right now eric yes okay yeah yeah maybe some more technical difficulties i don't know well so i mean you know what i've actually found with with a lot of these winter athletes they find themselves in locations that are very remote like because you i mean you got you're on top of a mountain right or just kind of like it's 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 not like you know you you go to a track it's going to be in the middle of a city or at a university ample service but it's like no i'm gonna go just looking at this picture uh one of our guests yesterday tour uh, Tor, Tor Bergerum, who is a uh, recently retired uh, Olympic snowboarder, like okay. there's a track where he's flipping. Look at that background. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I definitely there's, see. There's, it. Yeah, oh, there's, <laughs> there's nothing there. So, yeah, so Eric, uh, yeah, so Eric will be joining. So I, I, it was a rhetorical question. He is actually in uh, Michigan, uh, Iron Mountain, Michigan. There's a lot of ski jumping happening up there. And uh, we're 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 gonna get into that a little bit later. And I, I, you know, I really love having the summer and winter athletes together because mm-hmm. it's kind of there's a lot of parallels and so many uh, 
obviously a lot of differences, but also a ton oh, of yeah. parallels. And I just I, I'm 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 really looking forward to to him getting in here. Um, and and you see this tweet that uh, that Bob, our producer, just uh, pulled up Steve Mariucci at the event there. And if you're if you're watching on FanFest, you can actually click that tweet and watch the video, uh, or you know save the link for later. Uh, if, if 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 you don't want to go anywhere, uh, Angela says looking good. B, I agree. I like the shirt. It. It's a strong Thank you. shirt game today. You know, you know when 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 Bob told me I was co-hosting, I knew I had to you know just you know put you know pop out with a little bit of style. So yeah, there you go. I, we well we got to get you some uh, a, a jacket or something. We got them in all all different brands. If you don't want the stripes, we can hook you up with the swoosh. You know, it's. It, we, we, Whatever we want. we're gonna outfit you for the next next show. Maybe maybe hey, I appreciate that. I, yeah, was, uh, I was looking at some of the past recordings, man. I really like that hat. I really like that hat. You like so that? Uh, you like that? We have it. If if you visit, there is a link on the bottom of this uh, feed. A twenty percent off during the winter games, but B yeah, tons of it. It comes in. Uh, at, you know what? I'll go on the store and make sure. That it's got some really nice A and M colors on there. I think most of our stuff like comes in. Is it maroon? What do you what do you call the color? What's the specific hue? M- maroon and white. It is maroon. Okay. Well, yeah, you so. never know because like if you call if you go to Alabama and you say the word maroon, they'll be like <laughs> we're running out of town. Like <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and, and so look at look at this tweet. This is where Eric is coming to us from. You know that's um. A, it looks like he's very high above any of the cell phone towers that happen to be. Very much so. Have you ever done any sort of skiing, ski jump? I mean, probably not ski jumping for sure, but, you know, anything in the winter realm? No. No? No. Uh, I remember maybe ice skating, you know, a couple times, you know. uh, But as far as skiing, no, sir, no, sir. I guess the closest I've gotten to something like that is – Roller skating, if you want to, if you want to call it that, if you want. I guess, that, but, but <laughs> not that. <laughs> nothing. No, nothing definitely like that. not. No, no, it's dangerous. Definitely it's not. dangerous. Don't do it, man. Uh, it's 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 crazy. <laughs> I I a lot of these winter athletes are they're like real humble and sometimes you know maybe even a little bit soft spoken, but then it's like you go out and your job is to just just do that. <laughs> It's just like how? How do you do it? All right, I think yeah. I think Eric is joining us again. Uh, there you, he is. There he is, Eric. Are, yeah. you, are you with us? Uh, yes, I am. Sorry, I cut out again. There, no, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. I, I, we, we have this tweet up right here. I understand you're coming, uh, coming to us from uh, very high up, uh, because that's what you guys do. You get very high up and then jump. So, uh, you're in Pine Mountain, or excuse me, Iron Mountain, Michigan, right now. Yeah. Yeah. So what's uh, what's what's going on up there? Anything fun? Uh, yeah, we just had uh, three competitions this weekend. Um, crazy crowd, like definitely biggest one we'll ever get in the U.S. Um, no really? Yeah, uh, good competition. Crazy weather was always here, and uh, it was yeah, it was actually my first time uh, jumping here, so it was really fun. Super good experience. Wow, that's insane! Over ten thousand people there. Like that's. That's yeah. a, that's a pretty that's a pretty big crowd. Do you uh do do you feed out like when uh, do you even know like when you're all the way at the top can you even feel the crowd or when you're jumping like do do you feel it or is it just when you kind of land and you're at the end and and there's just people everywhere? Yeah, you can feel it here because it's so cold. They're all in their cars. You can actually see on that picture they have that huge parking lot there, so they're all lined up oh, in their yeah. cars watching. So they're Whoa. honking. So, They're yeah, honking. Can, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, you can feel the it. crowd. I love it. All right, dude. So um, we did this with Brandon. We do it with every athlete that joins the show. My name's Mike. I'll introduce myself. My name's Mike. This is Brandon. Say hi, Brandon. Uh, Hello. Eric, who are you and what do you do? Um, so I'm a ski jumper. Um, I travel all around the world. I actually uh, live in Slovenia. Uh, with the rest of my team uh, that's like our training base I live there like eight nine months out of the year Ooh, wow um, yeah we compete all over the world but primarily Central Europe okay 
Uh, yeah, we went to uh, China this year, uh, Romania earlier, and um, this is the one like uh, fifth sanctioned competition that we uh, get to do each year in the United States. So that was really cool. I'm, I'm curious, how does one decide to get into ski jumping? Because it seems scary. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> I'm scared just watching you guys on TV. So I, how do you actually decide to do it? Yeah, so I get that a lot. But uh, you obviously, like, you start really, really small. There's, like, a really good program in the uh, town I'm from. I'm from uh, Colorado. Okay. We have a really good ski club where you get to, like, group a bunch of, um, like, different ski sports together. So I grew up uh, cross-country skiing, uh, downhill skiing, and ski jumping all at the same club. And then uh, over a few years, like I decided ski jumping was definitely one for me. So I uh, stuck with that. That's insane. And and talk me a little bit through, because I know, I mean, I, I know Brandon here is an 800 meter runner, uh, track and field. Uh, I, I, I kind of, I get training. Like I understand how that works in the track and field world, but I'm, I'm kind of curious what training is like for ski jumping. And I see he's kind of paused. Yeah, he's, he's definitely frozen. He's pumping his fist. He's ready to go. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, but yeah, I'm. All right. Sorry, I'll repeat that. Back. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, I, I'm just kind of curious. What exactly does a training regimen look like for a ski jumper? Um. So it's a lot of uh, plyos, jumps, um, a little bit of weights, uh, a lot of stretching. You got to be really flexible and. Uh, like a lot of jumping, like we'll uh, do training on the hills uh, three or four times each week. And when, what about running? Do you want to run 800 meters? Does that sound like something you would like to do? Or <laughs> I actually, uh, I used to do track when I was in uh, wow. middle school and then a little bit in high school and uh, I was not a fan. <laughs> no, you, you, you didn't want to like get into pole vault or anything. That's kind of like the closest thing I can think of to uh to ski jumping sorry repeat that you cut off for just a second again I was just making a bad pole vaulting joke moving on no <laughs> what, what exactly did you do though in track because I I love we were talking about this before I love having Brandon here and you because you guys are both athletes competing on a very very high level not many people can do what you guys can do and it's 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 just kind of fascinating because there's a lot of parallels but then there's some things that are just polar opposites like the snow part. Yeah. So uh, when I did track, I uh, I actually did do pole vaulting for a little just because I thought it looked <laughs> cool. And I wasn't like really specialized at anything. I wasn't especially good at anything. So I thought I'd try it. And uh, I was not good. <laughs> I was really bad. I never like cleared the starting height or anything. But I ran uh, the 200, the 400, and the 800. Hey, there you go. Not very fast, though. That's important. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, yeah, talking to a guy that's that's running what six hundred in a minute fifteen. That's uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's a whole different ball game, for sure. Brand, I see your your mind kind of racing, Brandon. I don't know if there's questions in there. If you're just enjoying the Man. conversation, but let, let let us know what what are you thinking right now. You know, Eric. Eric, I have to ask, man. Um, you're only seventeen. You're only seventeen. And, you know, I I remember back when I was 17, the only thing I was really doing is asking girls for home, homecoming at my pep rally. So how are you really handling all of this, man? You're competing at such a high level. Um, so t take me through, your, like, your thought process throughout each day and just, just, again, how you're handling this at such a young age when it comes to school, your sport, and all that type of thing, you know, all that type of stuff. That's a great question, but I think he paused again. There's <laughs> the service in Michigan. Hey. You have to repeat that. That was, you know what? That was that was the best question I've ever heard. I'm i just, I you know what? I'm I'm Thank done. You. I appreciate I'm, you. I'm done. I'll see you guys later. I'm out. <laughs> this is Brandon's show now. You know, I, I am a journalism major, man. You know, I, you know, I'm just trying to get a little bit of practice in. Oh, there you go. Yes, <laughs> I love it. All right, Eric, let us let us know when you're back. It's uh. Yeah, it's 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 yeah, well, okay. <laughs> That's the opposite of what I yep. just. <laughs> this is just this technical. Look, look. You know what? It's 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 
the 21st century technical difficulties are just something that we gotta we gotta go with so all right i'm kind of curious though I, a question came up in this uh in this chat room asking if you would do better in the ski jump or eric in the 800 so i'm kind of curious i, I, I want to hear what your take is on that do you, would, would you try the ski jump you think you would be any good at it uh i do not like heights to be honest with you so i don't even think i would get up there someone in the chat said brandon has <laughs> Some sneaky hops, which <laughs> I, I, I would love to know how, how high have you done the combine? Do you know how high you can jump? Uh, I know my vertical is like 35 inches when uh. we tested it. Um, but I, I definitely, I'm not, I'm not that flexible. As you said, you need to be really flexible. So, uh, yeah, I, I think with some training, I think you'd be a little bit better in the 800 than I would. Definitely. He's a little bit more experienced already. Yeah, yeah. From yeah. from high school. I thought I really liked snow like that. Dude. Is what so, it sounds like. Have you uh, have you been checking out the the Olympics? Do you do you watch the the Winter Games? Do you watch that? Yeah, yeah, I do. I uh, you know, I usually I don't really catch it live. I really like to look on YouTube and um, and I did watch the ski jump actually. Mm -hmm. Um. And I saw, was it Japan get the gold medal, I believe? Uh, so, yeah, I did. I, I, I like to watch, you know, events definitely on YouTube. And, uh, and yeah, it really, it, it's really cool. You know, again, as you said, the differences between the Summer Olympics and the Winter Olympics, just to see something so different and to see athletes in their element. I feel like that's all, like, what it's all about, the Olympics. Yeah. You, as you said, a lot of these winter athletes are really soft-spoken. I, I can even see, even see that with Eric. Very soft spoken, very humble, but like when he's in his element, man, it's it's no stopping him. He no, it's 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 probably just yeah, it, it, it just you flip the switch and all of a sudden it's just like, just like I'm it. gonna do something crazy, like <laughs> you know. But you know, it's it's funny you mentioned that seeing athletes in their element. So at World's Greatest, we do you know produce a lot of content with athletes, track and field athletes especially, getting a lot of behind the scenes look at uh, at the training at the competitions, at a, the home life, a lot of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's it's really neat, especially from, as we've established, a non-athlete uh, to be able to see, you know, what they go through. And every time I'm around you guys, I'm just like, well, I got to start going to the gym again. So I've been really good this week. <laughs> five five days. This, I had a two a day this week. Let's go. Hey, it's, consistency is key, man. There you well, go. Well, it's just, yeah, it, it's just like – it, yeah, it's it's I, I I think all of you combined would have less body fat than just me, right? So I'm, I gotta I gotta get in there. But it's really cool seeing you guys, especially when it comes to training uh, and on race day, just getting in that zone. Eric's back. There's, there he is. A blank Eric box over here, but we we but we got the where are we? Yeah, we we got yeah, it. right right down there. All right, so so we'll get back to that. But Brandon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. At least we're having fun, right? That's, yeah, that's, there we go. So at yeah, least there, we're there he's fun. back. He's back. Jeez. Jeez, computers. Didn't you, you? We established you're 17. You grew up with a computer. You were probably like born with an iPad in your hands. Like, you. This, <laughs> technology is failing you right now. All right. I yeah, think it's a little better. I think we're good. I think we're good, Brandon. Uh, do you remember your question? Do you want yeah, to man. Let's get it. Let's do it. I was, I was, I was really just wondering, man. What's your thought process? You know, how are you handling, you know, competing at such a high level at the young age of seventeen? Like, when was you born? Tw Twenty. Two thousand four. <sighs> See, oh, that, yeah, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Damn. I, I say that I was born in two thousand two, but uh, <laughs> uh, really, uh, man, like, how how are you? Handling all of, you know, just competing at a high level. How do you balance school, your social life, your competitive life, man? Just just take me through your uh, kind of like your daily thought process. Yeah, so uh, since I was like a kid with the team, like since I was seven or eight, like we were always leaving for weeks to do uh, competitions. You know, like there's not really a lot of ski jumps close to my town. So we were always traveling. I was skipping school. So... I got used to it, and uh, since freshman year, I've been uh, completely online with school, so that hasn't been, uh, like, a big deal. Gotcha. And uh, I don't know. I, I don't think it's too hard. I think I'm just really fortunate that I get the opportunity to travel and compete, like, all around the world. You know, it's a really big deal, and uh, 
yeah, I like, miss my family. It's hard to be away from home, but I think the positives definitely outweigh the negatives. Wow, man. Hey, there you go. There you go. So how did you wind up moving like half a planet away? <laughs> so this is actually interesting. Uh, Slovenia is like the uh, one of the training capitals for ski jumping. Like okay. a okay. small country, but really good at ski jumping. Actually, a Slovenian was first and second today in Iron Mountain. And uh, we have three Slovenian coaches or three uh, coaches for our uh, national team. They're all Slovenian, so it's uh, easiest for us to live there. Um, we're within driving distance of all the major comps for the most part, so that's like a big deal. It'd be really tough to fly overseas every weekend for a competition. Yeah. And what's the food like in Slovenia? This is, this is now we're getting into my area of expertise. I'm curious, <laughs> what, 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 what's, what's like a popular course over there that people over here would just be like, what? Uh, I got to think about that. Um, the ones I like over there that I guess are popular there are uh, um, Yufka, which is like a gyro. It's like Greek food. Like a euro, okay. I love yeah, euro. yeah. Uh, those are good. And then uh, there's another one my team likes a lot. Uh, it's a burek. It's like a pastry with a, I don't know, uh, lots of different things inside. Like there's like the pizza one that's just like um, marinara sauce and cheese. I don't know, just stuff like that. It's, like uh, that. it's pretty similar though to the U.S. I don't notice like a huge difference or anything. Well, they don't have any like a Texas barbecue that, that I'm sure no. Brennan gets down on every now and again, right? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. Gotta, oh, you look. know, maybe in the off season. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that looks good. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty. That looks that looks pretty good. So, so carbo loading is a big thing for you, huh? <laughs> uh, it shouldn't be, but occasionally. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Fair enough. So. I'm curious, since Eric, you you know you you had some track experience right through high school. What are those similarities getting back to training between what you do now with ski jumping and track and field? So just to be clear, I was uh, not super committed to track. I went to like two meets, but the one thing <laughs> I did notice is like the I appreciate the honesty. Hey, yeah. <laughs> the best guys in my school. Like, it's all about, you know, dedication. So if you want to be the best, you got to work at it. And I didn't really in track, you know, like it wasn't my passion. But uh, the best guys on my track team did. So they were obviously way more successful. But I think that's a similarity that goes across all sports. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good answer. Sorry, go go ahead, Brandon. Yeah, that's definitely facts. That is definitely – you know, I, I, I've i never ski jumped. But uh, as you said, I feel like the – universal thing just within life it's just you know you you get out what you put in you know what i mean you reap what you sow so i definitely think that was a great answer to your question mike sure that was a great question you said there mine was a good question yours yours was a, even there better. you go there you go all right i like this show this is great and brandon i like you you're good um so oh, thank you sir i appreciate you so we we have the and oh here's a tweet with uh, anna hoffman uh at, at the the ski jump yesterday i think she was usa's lone competitor yesterday um i'm curious eric a have you watched any uh, of the olympics and two do you i guess the question is how do you watch it because you know a lot more like the way you watch it's different from the way i watch it right i'm just watching it without all that inside knowledge and 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 the technical knowledge of what it takes to ski jump but you are probably watching it in a completely different way. So I'm just kind of curious uh, if, if you're able to watch it and kind of how you watch it, what you look for when you're watching on TV. Well, I, was, I just thought he was standing really still, you know? <laughs> <laughs> He's just in the zone. Yeah, I thought he was at first, but... In, uh, the, in the zone, yeah. They, they are this... Like uh, the 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 area of Michigan that they are in it is very high up and I believe it's one of the tallest hills in in the country maybe I'm not entirely sure but I believe I've seen that that statistic so 
this makes sense to me for gotcha. sure. Yeah. Uh, let me throw the question at you because during U.S. track trials back in Eugene last June, we were out there, world's greatest. We were out there, and we had this Airbnb. We had athletes coming by, you know, to film, but then also to just kind of hang out and watch trials. And right. I'm sitting there watching. I believe the the aha moment was we're watching a 400, 400 meter hurdles. Actually, we're watching uh-huh. right, Dalila Muhammad, Sydney McLaughlin. Uh, it, it was it was awesome. Shambino, love Sham. She's great, and. We're sitting there watching it with someone who, you know, runs the 400 and knows about her. Right. And, the, oh, oh, she switched feet between the seventh and eighth. And now she's, I'm just like, wait, what does that even mean? Switch feet. Like, they're talking about all these different things, like the minutia of it. And I'm just like, this is the most uh, insightful right party i've ever been to right so do you oh, yeah. like is, is it the same when you watch or are you just kind of looking for results oh uh, for sure you know uh you can definitely really relate especially like when it's your event um to the people out there and you kind of know like I, i'm pretty sure eric can attest to this like you you kind of know if it's going to be really fast or if the jumper's going to jump really far in the ski jump uh so i think that that and and sometimes you know you kind of just sit back and just enjoy it as a fan you know what i mean so uh yeah it's definitely a a thing where it's like you definitely understand what's happening but you're also enjoying it for what it is all right and then what about you eric when you're watching ski jumping on tv like are you dissecting it or are you just kind of watching for the result oh i do a little bit of both sometimes i like start a competition i have to tell myself I just have to enjoy it I can't like analyze or <laughs> try to compare their jumping to mine because ski jumping super mental and if you start doing that you it's harder to be successful so I try to just sit back and enjoy okay that's kind of interesting you don't want to psych yourself out pretty much yeah kind of uh, get in your own head that kind of stuff all right but do you do you actually like enjoy it like right now we have you know some uh Looks like we got some slalom, some giant slalom on the TV. Do you do you sit there and 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 watch skiing? Is that enjoyable for you or not so much? Yeah, yeah, I like uh, some events more than others. Uh, oh, and he's gone. He's gone to watch the giant slalom. Yeah, curling, yep. curling yep. is the yep. answer. Have, have you been watching the curling? Uh, not this year, not this year. But but I do really enjoy it. I do okay. really enjoy it. Yeah, the 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 mixed doubles is what I've been uh, what I've been able to enjoy uh, over the last couple of days. Although USA lost a heartbreaker while we were on stream yesterday, so that's oh. why I, I don't have curling on right now because I just I I just I can't take that kind of yeah. that kind of heartbreak. But see now I now you're from Missouri, right? St. Louis, Missouri. Yes, sir. St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, great. Um, and it's Missouri, not Missouri, right? Missouri. Okay. Cause I've been told it's the opposite. I'm just like, I'm not, I'm, that's not what I'm all about. So Missouri. All right. We're good there. We're good there. Um, and, and actually both your parents went, they were Mizzou, right? Yes, sir. My mom's from, my mom's from St. Louis. My dad's from Detroit. So I'm not sure how far that is from where Eric is, but, uh, Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's a lot higher up. Oh, that's, okay. that's, 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 that he's, he's, he's up here. There's a, How'd you wind up then in Texas when you had that family pedigree, right? Because both of your parents were athletes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Mom ran track, dad played football. Uh, it was just going through the recruiting process. Uh, you know, I, I listened to all the schools and I just felt like Texas a m was the place for me to be. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, fair I get that question so much. Like, you like I get I get that question so much. It's so funny. Well, I mean, it's it's it 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 just seems like if there's ever like a football game where it's Mizzou versus A and M, right? Like if they ever <laughs> found a college station, it's it's there's there's gonna be a little uh yeah a little bit of you know yeah. <laughs> You know, at the end of the day, though, you know, if, when when A and M wins, you know, we'll all be, you know, we'll all be cool. You know? <laughs> so you just you've written off Missouri entirely. 
<laughs> Aggie man, I'm an Aggie. Get Got him. One. I, I I love that. All right, Eric is back. Yes. Yeah. There yes. we go. There we go. Yes. Yes. Okay. So uh, what we were talking about before, like, do you watch? Do you watch curling? Do you do you watch the cross country skiing? Do you watch figure skating? Is there anything in the Olympics that you like to watch? I like uh, cross country skiing a lot. I think it's uh, fun to watch. Really entertaining. I like the uh, the chase, that kind of thing. You, um, is, it, is it better with or without the rifle? Uh, like honestly, I don't really or understand you like... it with the uh, rifle too much. So I think I just like straight up cross country skiing. I didn't even realize until I'm looking at the schedule of events, like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And there's like a dozen plus different forms of biathlon. I had no idea. Stop. Yeah, I didn't know that either. <laughs> it's, it's, it's insane that there's so many different just versions of every sport now, it seems like. I mean, except for hockey. That'd be cool if they put three on three hockey. Uh, in, in that the, would be cool. The three, the three on three basketball. Now, that was a fun time during yes. the summer games, right? Yeah, uh, it would it would it would be fun to do that or some sort of a uh, weird hybrids. We were talking about doing some uh, 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 short track speed skating with hurdles the other day when we had Devin. I, I saw the- that. Yeah, right. I saw that. I did see that. I think that would be very interesting. I think there's a show in the making here. We're working on it right now. No, we're gonna have to take out a heck of an insurance policy, but it's gonna be a banger. Let me t- <laughs> let let me tell you. <laughs> oh my goodness! Gonna have to sign a waiver. We're gonna have definitely have to sign a waiver before you step out onto the track. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, Eric, world traveler. Where, what's what's your favorite? Well, two questions. Favorite like city that you've been to, and then favorite hill that you've jumped on. Oh, that's a good question. No Slovenia and no Colorado. <laughs> um, I think the favorite place I've gone to is I've been to uh, Innsbruck, Austria, a couple times. Hmm. Super pretty, super nice. Um, yeah, really cool mountains and pretty like fancy town. I really enjoyed that. We always, uh, stay at a nice hotel there. And, um, my favorite jump, uh, I actually really like the one in Iron Mountain. We actually got to uh, train on it for a couple days. So got to take like my own amount of speed, just train, have fun. And I, uh, really enjoyed that. Yeah, I, I said this before um, when you weren't on. I think it's like one of the tallest hills in the country at Iron Mountain, right? Isn't it? Isn't it? I have no idea. <laughs> you don't, no, no, no. You're just like, there's a hill I'm going to jump. I don't care how high it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And now, Brandon, you've obviously, um, through NCAA, you've traveled all over the country. Have you done much internationally? No, I've been to Cabo, Mexico on vacation for about three days, but that's about it. All right. <laughs> not, not, a, not a bad place to stamp your path. It wasn't bad. You know, I, got, you yeah. know, I was in the ocean. I got to ride, you know, some jet skis. It was, it was cool. It was cool. Now, my assumption is you'll your passport will very likely be full in the next couple of years, right? Yes, like, sir. Right? Yes, sir. As soon as uh, we're, we're out of college – Yes, all over the world, right? So I, I want Eric, I need you to give Brandon some travel tips. Like, what's something that he needs to pack that he's not thinking about packing? You know, give him some tips. Oh, you got to put a fresh set of clothes in your backpack always. Got you. Okay. I only I'll get my bags like 50% of the time. So that's an important one. Okay. What about your <laughs> skis? Do they lose your skis? Oh, all the time. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I actually went on a drought where six times in a row traveling overseas, I didn't get my skis. All right, so so what happens? Because I'm assuming your travel is usually fairly close to competition or at least practice leading up to a competition, right? So what do you do? So this is actually in the summer, so I got lucky. We were just doing uh, like training camps in the U.S. and then in Europe, so uh, – yeah, I got lucky. I didn't like need them immediately, but uh, you just get in touch with the airline people and hope they uh, get it to you as soon as possible. Okay. Is there an airline you'd like to slam while we're live on stream? Oh, I got to think about that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. 
<laughs> Shouldn't they be even asked? Not like, the one I'm flying tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. Exactly right. <laughs> if you're watching right now. Be like, well, those skis are going to Australia. <laughs> right. Yeah. Let me tell nah, you, you're really not getting those skis, man. Nah. Yeah, yeah. In in um in track in the track and field world, I feel like it's it's most similar with pole vaulters because I've heard some horror stories with pole vaulters yeah. traveling. But I mean, you carry what your your shoes? My spikes. Like when he said that, I was like, that's like me losing my spikes. Like it, I feel like it's it's a bad situation. But you, I mean, you can just bring your spikes in the backpack. He he doesn't have yeah. that luxury. I carry I carry them right with me. Though. That's the that's Air the thing. the plane. If, if my spikes were lost, it's on me. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> Fair enough. I love that. All right. Um. So I'm kind of curious to know, and I know both of your careers are still very young, but I I need like a fun story. Like winter athletes are some of the most fun people out there, right? I need I I need some kind of fun story, something fun that's happened to you this season. Oh, see, I thought oh, he Brandon, froze you're again. first. I, I got a thing. I see. <laughs> he was just thinking. Be like, no, we don't. We 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 do not have fun when we go on. <laughs> I know. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of putting you on the spot, huh? We're going to switch it up. We're going to switch it up. All right. Because I have a couple of other yeah, questions. Yeah, give me I got a couple of other questions. I got a couple of other questions. So ski jumping, again, I know nothing. I know absolutely nothing. I, I have been learning throughout the course of this program about skis um, or ski jumping, rather, like, like the skis that you guys have. I guess there's no blades on it, and they're just they're really thick. And just, but I'm kind of curious. Can you give us one thing about ski jumping, like a, a tidbit or – uh, a skill or anything that just like the the normal person just doesn't know or maybe assumes incorrectly. Uh, what do you mean by that? Sorry, I'm a little confused. Well, like uh, I, I, you know, I, I would assume that speed doesn't matter, but I'm sure it really does. So, is is there something that people think is is incorrect uh, or you know just maybe something about the sport that people just don't know? Um, yeah, actually, my uh, aunt asked me this one today and was a little confused. Um, so speed's, like, really, really important. Like, in-run speed is, like, a huge factor in, sure. like, your distance and your results. And my aunt asked, like, why don't you just push off the bar <coughs> as hard as you can? And I can't not explain, like, why this doesn't work, but that does not help at all. And, like, I get that, like, all the time. Yeah. They're like, why don't you just push off harder you can go faster it's easier and you can't <laughs> wow. i don't know if that's like what you were looking for but i always thought that was interesting and 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 tell me about this also i i, I that is actually kind of interesting how how is it how do you build up all that speed then is it is it just going down little push and hope you pick up speed like how exactly do you do you go about that so i mean like it's uh the gear the interim speed's like determined by a bunch of things. Uh obviously gotta get low, you know, aerodynamics, that one's pretty simple. Um can't create like friction with the side of the tracks at all, you know. Uh that obviously slows you down. So you gotta be like super low, super relaxed, and this one I also don't understand, but you gotta be like on your balance, like where you're gonna push from. If you're like too far on your heels or too far on your toes like uh your speed slows down oh wow that that seems like a really small like wow. a, a huge margin of error for such a small component of it that that's so technical yeah that's so now yeah it's i did have a um you know i was i was watching a bunch of ski jumps today on youtube because as i said i like to watch the olympics on youtube and I noticed that, like, when you guys go off the ramp, that's like when you guys jump, maybe. When you, uh, so like, is it a thing like you have to time it perfectly to like when your legs are straight, or if your legs are bent, is it not going to be as good of a jump as they were if they were straight? Like, how do, how how important is timing when it comes to that jump to your result? Oh, it's uh really really important. Like, um, 
like I can uh, watch a ski jump and for the most part, you know, I'm not like the best at this. Some of my teammates are way better, but I can like tell if they went early or late. Normally it's pretty obvious and that like plays a huge factor. Um, yeah. Some athletes, like even some of the best in the world, like you can see consistently jump a little late and that's just like their style, you know, they make it work. But yeah, it's really, really important. Okay, cool. I've, I've noticed there's also like a bunch of different like starting heights, if, if that's the, the correct description of it. What's what's that all about? What what determines where you actually start on that jump? Uh, so more speed, obviously, like uh, we call them gates. Like if you take a higher gate, uh, it's way easier to go farther. You have uh, more speed. Um, and... So typically, like in a in given conditions, like there's a correct gate to go from where the best jumpers in the competition will go to the second red line, which uh, we call hill size. That's where uh, it starts to flatten out and it gets really hard to land. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, to get in the top 30, typically you have to go to the uh, calculation line, which is the first red line. And with more headwind, you have to take less speed. So a few gates down and with a tailwind, a few gates up. Wow. Okay. Do you like yeah. wind? Do you like wind, Eric? I like headwind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tailwind's not fun. Is it, 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 it's probably pretty windy where you are right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Was, uh, actually, uh, my teammate was telling me he's been here five times now. This is like the least windy he's ever seen it. And you're like, it's whipping around pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we still had uh, wow. a few delays. Wow. But the the wind doesn't actually, like, affect the uh, – it affects the jump itself, but not in terms of the result or, or, or judging. Because, like, Brandon, for example, in track and field, you know, if you've got a wind that's faster than I, – I don't know exactly what it is, but, um, you know, you're – and you break a world record, no, it's wind dated. It doesn't count, right? Right. So, uh, but in, in ski jumping, it's just the wind is the wind. You deal with it, and where you land is where you land, right? It's actually a lot more complicated than that. They came Ooh, up with a, uh, Yeah, it's a wind compensation system where they actually uh, measure uh, where the wind is, and I think it's like eight different sectors on the hill. Wow. And, uh, yeah, they give you minus points if it's headwind because that's beneficial, and plus points if it's tailwind. And uh, there's like a certain limit it can be uh, to for it to be safe for the jumper to go safe mm -hmm. and fair, because no matter like how many plus points you get, if you get like a ton of tailwind, like you're just gonna hit the null on the jump, like the go super short and you have no chance. Yeah. So yeah, it's a really really complicated system. Wow, I, I'm learning something every day. Every single day. What we're doing here, Brandon. There we go. That's what we're doing. We're, we're here to laugh and to learn, and I think we're checking off both of those boxes. Yes, this sir, tweet we that, are. This tweet that was just pulled up showing the ski jump from the 2002 Winter Olympics in Park City, Utah, and the tweet ends with saying, it's terrifying, um, and I'm kind of shaking just looking at it on my computer screen. Uh, yeah, no. It, 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 like, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming heights aren't a problem for you. What, what does scare you if, if that doesn't? Yeah, uh, we're always a little nervous when it's our first time, like, uh, jumping a new hill, especially when it's a bigger hill. You know, yeah. you start on, like, the uh, the little one that's, like, a, a five meter. And then uh, this one right here is the uh, 120 meter, which is actually the same size we just competed on uh, today. Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. No. <laughs> just, oh. We're both over here just like, nah, we're, we're, we're good. <laughs> we're good. We're good on that. That looks like a roller coaster. Like, like you go to the views and park and see that. Yeah, no, no, no. no the, the Winter Olympics, it's been, it, we've said it a couple times on this. Show, it's just all the original extreme sports. I don't know. <laughs> like, what, what makes you think, like, oh, I'm going to do the skeleton, which is a just a luge, but you're on your stomach going head first. Like, yeah. it, it's just, just getting into these different winter sports. It's just crazy. Uh, do you like, are you, I, I hope you're like afraid of spiders or the dark or something like yeah. basic, right? Is there anything that's that gets to you? 
I'll think about that and get back to you. All right, fair enough. See, see probably not. Probably not. When you're when you're skiing down that, at however fast they go, can anything scare you at that point? <laughs> I know. <right? laughs> really? um, so, what should we be looking for during the uh, during the winter games here? As far as the the ski jumping, is there someone uh, who you're rooting on, or is there someone who you know you think is gonna win the gold across all all the jumps? What what should we be looking for? Uh, obviously, watch my teammates. Um, <laughs> yep. Shout them uh, out. Let's go. Give me names. Give me names. Give me names. Uh, let's see. Uh, Decker Dean, who is from uh, my club in Steamo Springs. Um, that's a that's a good name. I yeah, like that. Name. Dean, he, yeah. he, he could be a uh, like that could be like a secret identity for a superhero. Yeah. <laughs> right. I like that. I like that. All right. Who else you got? Uh, and the uh, other three all from the same club in uh, Chicago. Uh, Kevin, Patrick, and Casey. Um, cheer for them. And we also uh, we live with the uh, Canadians. They don't have a coach. They don't have like a um, an organization really. So uh, we're team. North America. So also a uh, cheer for Matthew and uh, Mackenzie. I like that. Uh, the there's there's Decker Dean. Decker Dean. And that's a heck of a jacket. I like the I like the jackets you guys are sporting. Yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah, he has the superhero hair, the hair and everything. <laughs> He's got it all going for. Him. Is there a is there a USA versus Canada like little rivalry? Do you guys like kind of do mini Olympics or anything when you guys are practicing or training or anything like that? No, not so much. I'd say we're more of like a, a team. You know, we, uh, we live together. We travel everywhere together. They're uh, USA's extension. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I like that. I like that a lot. And uh, th- we let's see. So we have, yeah, Kevin, uh, Patrick, Casey, Decker, this tweet that's that's pulled up here. Uh, I missed one. Oh, Anna, of course. Duh. Yeah, we talked about her earlier. Um, yeah, it's 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 great. I mean, obviously, I'm I'm here to root on USA no matter what, especially in curling defending champs. Let's go. Uh, but uh, yeah, the it, it's 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 always fun watching the international competition. That's why I was kind of asking if you guys have a little, you know, Canada versus USA thing. I would. If you guys want to set something up, I'm happy to um, to officiate, by the way. Like, I've got some medals in the back. I'll bring them over. It'll be fun. Yeah, so actually, last year, uh, we had uh, world championships in uh, Oberstdorf, Germany. Okay. And so the Canadians only have two guys. So there wasn't like a – they didn't have a team event because that takes four. Okay. But they did have okay. a mixed team where they had two guys and two girls. And uh, things got competitive with the uh, U.S. and Canada then. We lost, though, so we don't talk about it. But. Oh, okay. So, oh, see, now I understand. Now the truth comes out. <laughs> yeah. That's that's why we're all one. I got you. All right. Well, look, that, it just gives you something to look – to. to to strive for, right? Now you got you got a chip on your shoulder for the next time you guys face off. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love that. All right. Um Yeah, I mean, I I I don't know Brandon if you've got any other any other questions here before we end the show. It's we're we're about to to be here at 10, but I'm I, I'm it's like soccer rules. I'm adding some stoppage time for the technical <laughs> difficulties we've been having, right? So the, oh, the, yeah. the fourth referee just like hold up the sign we got six minutes left or something like that so uh i'm uh, if you got any other questions now fire away brandon i have one question man it, it is something that i've been you know as i was watching the videos i was like what is going through their minds as they're going through the jump like is it like speed 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 jump or is it kind of just like it's a blur you 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 don't think of anything and it's just like muscle memory so actually it's a little bit of each uh there's like a yeah it's kind of interesting there's some like sections of the jump that you can like really feel you know like you have feel like you have control over your body like you can make adjustments and then there's other sections where like you're just going you know you have no control so going down the in run you know you have good feelings you like know where you are you uh all you're doing is like preparing for the takeoff uh, you know, do the right motions, all that stuff. And then the zone right after the takeoff, like right when you get into the air, it's 
we call it the blind zone because you can't see yeah. anything. You have no idea what's going on. Wow. And yeah, you're just going. And then you get to the flight, you like get into your flight position and then you feel like you have control again. You can move your arms, like do little changes, help the jump. But yeah, it's, it's really weird to like change things and like even just moving your arm in the air feels like really strange. Like it's kind of difficult really? to do. Wow. Now, if you fall, at the, like if you land on the ground and fall, does the jump count? Oh, it does. You, you get style points too, along with your distance points. So your wow. style points are just oh, wow. really, really bad. <laughs> You're kind of out of luck then. <laughs> yeah. Unless you do like some really kind of really cool tumbling act. Then maybe yeah, maybe they'd uh, go easy on you. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's great. And and Brandon, you kind of just did the whole what were you thinking question. We end every show by asking the athlete, what were you thinking about a certain... Oh, wow. Wow. You, you I didn't know. Without, without putting the what were you thinking into the question. So, but this is this is your first time co-hosting. We'll get there. We'll get yes, there. Sir. That was, yes, that was, that was a good what were you thinking. That's so good. So there you go. Uh, what were you thinking, Brandon, when you earlier this year set that just absolutely amazing time that no one else at that level has ever touched like the second you crossed the finish line what were you thinking uh the second i crossed the finish line i was actually going for the collegiate record and i i looked at the clock and it quite wasn't that so i was like ah oh. but then my coach told me it was a u20 record i was like oh wow like that, that's amazing so that's that's what i was thinking so you set a record and you were disappointed <sighs> until i found out that it was a record uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Fair enough. For that collegiate record, you're coming you're 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 still going strong for that. Yes, sir. Yes, all sir. All right. All right. I like it. Awesome. Uh Eric, did you come up with that silly moment or are we just gonna keep we're just gonna pass that? We're just gonna Oh, I think we gotta pass that. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you were so involved in the rest of the conversation you forgot about the it's it, you skipped the question. But yeah. we're not, we're not going to go back. We'll just, we'll just take the pass on it. There you go. Do you have a question for Brandon before we wrap this up? You can throw something at him. Um, so, sorry, I must have missed something. But you uh, have the 800 record for uh, U20. Is that what I just heard? I have the 600 record for U20. But I do run the 800. The correct right, well, answer yeah, is I don't have the record awesome. yet. Yes. 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 <laughs> All right. Go on. <laughs> go on, Eric. I'm sorry. That was my question. That's the only thing I could think of. I only heard a little snippet of that. All right. Thank fair you. enough. Cool, guys. Well, look, uh, this was awesome. Brandon, I know we're going to have you back. Eric, if you want to yeah. come back anytime, we'd love to have you. The show is going throughout the run of the Winter Games, so we have – this is episode three, so we have 14 more episodes to go every night right here on FanFest. You can watch on Twitter. You can watch on Facebook. You can watch on YouTube. But if you want to take part in the chat room, you got to be here on FanFest. The link is below. You can see it right now. Click on it. Come over here. We'll have a, a great time. Uh, before we let you go, Brandon and Eric, I just want you guys, if there's something that you want to plug, social handle, and anything this is the time you can give a free shout out you give a free shout out if you want to right say hi say say hi to mom and and the rest of tiger nation up there at mizzou if you want to. <laughs> do your thing eric what do you what do you want to plug uh i guess my teammates good luck guys in beijing represent us well have fun awesome uh yeah uh i guess for me follow my instagram at bmiller track star uh, my Twitter at B Mills Trackstar. Hi mom, hi dad. Uh, my brother, my sister, and go Aggies, giggles. And go Aggies. All right. I'll I'll be I'll I'll do go go Aggies until March Madness starts. I'm 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 there with you. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Um. So yeah, thanks again for everyone for joining us. We will be back. I think Eric. Just had to drop out one last time for posterity. One last, there you go. There one you last go. technical difficulty for the road. 
<laughs> there we go. And now we're all lined up perfectly. Just in time for the show to end. Everything, Everything's working swimmingly. Uh, thanks so much, guys, for joining. Hope that we can do this again. Uh, make sure you follow World's Greatest in addition to these two awesome athletes. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. It's at World's Greatest, but remove all the vowels. Or at World's Greatest Team on Instagram or on YouTube. We have a, a bunch of amazing original content. Eventually, we're going to shoot original content with these guys. I know it. I'm, I'm yeah. absolutely sure of it. I'm coming. I'm coming down to Texas, or to Slovenia, I guess. <laughs> You'll have, have me. You see, he, he, he look at that stoic face. I don't know that if he's frozen. Face, or he is. Not entertained anyone. <laughs> uh, but this was great. Thanks everyone for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, Brandon, you did a good. You did a good job. Thank good job, you. man. I appreciate that. Love it. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Peace.